Hope you have practiced the previous activity. Today, I am here with a fine motor activity which requires high concentration and coordination. I know that you all might have practiced stringing the bits. What about needle threading and basic saving? Dear parents, your guidance and supervision throughout is very much required. Do not leave your child unattended while doing needle threading and saving activity. Let us look into the list of items required. We need a saving needle. Thread a sheet of paper and a piece of boil cloth. Children, before we start, make sure that you are sitting in a well lit room with a light background or you have enough daylight. Children, this is a hand saving needle. It has two ends. One end is sharp and the other end has a loop which is called eye of the needle where we can insert the thread. Children take required length of thread. Sometimes certain thread will not go through the tiny eye. So let us trim the end of thread using the scissors. Hold the threaded end in your right hand using three fingers that is thumb, index finger and middle finger. Hold the needle in your left hand with eye on top. Now hold the thread stationary. Bring the needle to the thread and let it pass through the eye. Once the thread has passed the hole, pinch the top of thread using thumb and index finger and pull it through the eye. Drag till half of the thread. Like this. Now we have to make a knot at the ends. Dear parents, kindly help your child to make a knot at the ends of the thread. Look children, we have threaded the needle. Next, let us practice basic sewing in paper. Parents, please provide your child a sheet of paper with running lines like this. Let us start from the back of paper. Make sure to pierce from the bottom to up at the starting point and then continue so that the knot will not be visible and it will be under the paper. Come up with the black line, pull nice and tight and go down on that same line.
like this. Also make sure that both the threads are flat with each stitch on the paper. Now come up on the black line right next to it and go down on the same line. You can complete this covering each of these black lines. Children, you will get a pattern like this once you finish. Shall we try doing the same on a cloth? Children, get ready with a piece of boiled cloth and a threaded needle with knot. Spread the cloth on the table. Using the needle, grab one thread in the direction where we want to pull the thread. You have to grab one thread. Once you get the thread, pull it nicely to get a straight line. Here you can see a straight line on the cloth. Now we are going to see through this line. Start sewing from the back of the cloth. And pull the thread and go down as we have done earlier. You can continue this following the line. This straight line is good and we will continue to do it. So, you will get a pattern like this. Children, hope you have enjoyed. Practice this activity only under your parents' supervision. See you in the next class. Bye!